Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at something that's a bit of a sideline, but we're going to look at upgrading uh, to Java 8. So if you're already using Java 8, then this tutorial is irrelevant and you can skip it. But if you've been using Java 7, um, JDK 7, and um, you want to upgrade to Java 8, then I want to just explain briefly how I did it. The reason for this is I started making a tutorial on menus and the JavaFX menu support seemed to have a bug in it. So I upgraded to JDK 8, which didn't fix the problem, but now I've done it, I thought I'd better just document what I've done. Um, so, uh, and later on we may use features that require JDK 8, like, like I think um, 3D graphics in JavaFX apparently does. So, what you need to do is um, firstly install JDK 8, of course, JDK 8. Um, look for the one that has JavaFX included. I think it does anyway now. I think it always has JavaFX, but I'm not completely sure. So, um, so you might want to double check that. Let's see. So, please download the JDK or JRE to use JavaFX. Yeah, I guess it's included in the standard edition now, as far as I know. So that's good. Install JDK eight, and then I had to I had to install um, I had to install Eclipse Kepler which, come to think of it, maybe I was using it already, but you have to install a, a kind of recent Eclipse. And bear in mind that it's the 30th of April 2014 now, so if you're watching this a lot into the future, um, some of this may have changed, but just install the latest Eclipse, Kepler or upwards. And um, once you've done that, and the install it's normally just a case of downloading the zip and unzipping it, basically. But once you've done that, you need the... Um, Let's say you install Kepler, you need Kepler Java 8 support, you need to add it. And I presume, well, I'm sure that in future versions of Eclipse, they're gonna, they're gonna support Java 8 automatically. But I had to actually look for Java 8 support for Kepler. And I had to follow these instructions to install Java 8 support in my Eclipse. So you might have to do that as well. Once you've done that, um, if you go to I think it's like uh, help. No, I can't remember actually. Yeah, there's some properties in here somewhere. If only I could remember where. Yeah, Eclipse preferences. And you have to go to Java install JREs and add your, um, your JDK 8. So to do that, you can just look at what settings your other JDKs have in here. You should have at least one click edit and you can see in detail. All you really need is this path here. So you might want to copy that and just try to change it for JDK 8. You see it's like the, um, it's, it's the, I'm on a Mac, so it's different if you're on Windows, but it's the directory that your JDK is in and then slash content slash home in this case. But if it's different on your system, then well, it's different and you have to do something different. But when I, um, when you've just looked at those settings, Go to Add here, click the Add button, um, select Standard VM and fill in the right directory here. And when you fill, fill that in correctly, then the JRE system libraries automatically fills in so you don't have to add them yourself. You just have to get this directory right at the top and give it a name like Java 8 or whatever you like. I don't think this is important as far as I know. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, so I think there were a couple of other things that I had to do. One was, uh, what I normally do is, I normally copy a project to create my new project. So let's say I copy this introducing style, style sheets and paste it. And I'm gonna call this menus because that's gonna be the subject of my next video on JavaFX. And then if you right click that project and go to properties, um, if you go to Java build path, you can see that I've got JRE system library 1.7 in here. So that's, that's clearly now wrong if I want to use Java 8. So just delete that with the remove button. Click add library and select JRE system library next. Go to install JREs and select Java 8 and click finish. So now we've got the JRE, JRE system library 8, Java 8 in there. 
Also go to Java Compiler and I'm going to click apply here on, on this and, and change compiler compliance level to 1.8 apply and it's asking me if I want to um, rebuild it, yes I do so let's click rebuild, click OK and after you've done all that lot with a bit of luck you should be able to run your project as a Java 8 application um, so that's all for this tutorial like I say some of this will change or will be irrelevant in the future um, but you might have to do some of these things if you want to upgrade and it's not going to be necessary for the next few videos that I'm going to do but it might be necessary for some videos in the future in this course um, so next time we'll look at menus and don't forget go to caveofprogramming.com subscribe to my emailing list if you want to I haven't actually sent any emails out in months <laughs> but I'm trying to build up a list here um, just because it's a good thing to have for me <laughs> and you get some discounts so um, that's it for this time and until next time happy coding <laughs>